Ladies and gentlemen, Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Oh, they love you. Oh, uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's gone all America. We're going, Wah! Wah! <laughs> Oh, shit, it's a spider. I oh, know it is. Now. <laughs> so, uh, it's great to have you on, Kylie. Thank that you. That must have been a hell of a great gig doing the Olympic Games. Yeah. You was... have a bit of headdress trouble there. I was part. having a bit, well, a little trouble with the wind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have you tried windies? <laughs> In England, of course, we first got to know you through uh, Neighbours. Yeah. You, you don't mind talking about Neighbours, do you? No. I loved it. <laughs> it was great. When, when you got married, honestly, I cried like a child. No. <laughs> I really... Do you remember that when Kylie married Jason? Oh. <laughs> well, just in case you don't, here it is. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, look, there's Jim. <laughs> I've got the same hairstyle as him. <laughs> Daphne and oh. Jim. <laughs> in case you didn't watch the show, former stripper killed in a car crash. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> Don't I? Oh. Oh, no, oh, no, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Kylie. <laughs> so, um, you and Jason, did it, did it ever... Was the love there ever? Yeah, there was. You actually were a couple because yeah. everyone in England really wanted you and Jason to be a couple, and it seemed like it weren't happening. Um, I think we we well we played a cagey game of never really saying one way or the other, but um, yeah, we were seeing each other, and I've got really fond memories of that time because we were best mates, and I don't think there would have been anyone else who would understand what we were going through, the, yeah. the, the hours we were working, the, the pressure we were under, the, the fun that we had, you know, just, it was a pretty crazy yeah. time for us. So, it would have been yeah. so great if you had stayed together and got <laughs> married and all that. Sorry. I'd have been so pleased. <laughs> the two of you on his skateboard. We've <laughs> <laughs> got a picture of you and, uh, you and Jason. <laughs> just say no, kids, that's all I <laughs> Now, when Neighbours was on, it, in England, I mean, you must be aware of this now, it was so mega that kids were playing truant from school to watch yeah, it and stuff like apparently. that. apparently. I hear great stories about that. Well, they even say that it changed the language a bit in England. Do you know this thing? No. That English people now, I know a lot of people who do this, they kind of, they listen to so many Australian soaps, mm. mainly Neighbours, that they, they go up at the end of the sentence. Oh, the rising inflection, even yeah. if it's not a question? So they'll say, yeah, yeah exa <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But we're English people doing it. Yes, yeah, so I just went down the pub. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah. it's all right down there. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> well, you got such great words for your vernacular, such as Rakoff and Daggy. Yeah. <laughs> well, all that came Where would along. you be without those? Yeah, I didn't know what a bludger was <laughs> until I watched Alf on Home and Away. <laughs> you bloody mongrel. You bloody mongrel. <laughs> We've got a good picture of you, actually, with uh, Craig... Is it... Ma McLaughlin. McLaughlin, yes. Yeah. So, I love this picture. It's very, uh, <laughs> Odd. <laughs> <laughs> Are you licking his nipple, or is that my imagination? It looks more like I'm biting it. Yeah. It? And he seems to have one of those cardiograph machines. <laughs> <laughs> it was a new invention then called the Walkman. Yeah. It's oh, nasty. I remember that. <laughs> you know who I played on my Walkman? Who? <laughs> my favourite bit. It's a little hard to do live. But well, when you did it, did you actually go, uh, 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 or did they, did they mess about with it after? <laughs> oh, no, they did all kinds of tinkering. Oh, so you didn't actually go, uh, uh, uh. No, I'm sorry. Bloody letdown. I know. <laughs> now, one thing, there was a big thing this year, which in England, like, do you live in England now? Mm. Then you'll know the, the yeah. storm caused by this. Yes. Now, it's... So, according to what I read, you actually, you actually wore pants for this picture, is that right? Well, yes, of course I did. Why, of course? <laughs> it looks hot there. <laughs> so, they, what did they... Sorry, I don't have to that, stare at your bum like that. Put it, put right, it yes. down. Well, there's just there's one shot inside where my tennis dress is flying up and... Um, I mean, I knew they'd be quite 
racy pictures mm. between the photographer Terry Richin, a Wimbledon story, and GQ magazine, and me. It was yeah. bound to end up like that. But I'm flipping through the magazine. Oh, oh, you know, I was even a bit taken aback myself. It's one thing knowing what the picture is and then seeing it in front of you. And I get to this shot where it's, you know, they've obviously tampered with it. And I just said, oh, they've taken my knickers off. <laughs> where did they go? <laughs> where is that picture? <laughs> well, I, never, I don't remember that one. Well, look, Save that for later. Look at that free gel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Well, you must have been very upset. Uh, was you? Well, what could I do? You know, the magazine was already on the... On the oh, but you if know, you got a nice bomb, what difference does it make? <laughs> thousands of stands. Yeah. I, I thought it was more funny than anything. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could have been really mad, but I just thought... Well, the same... I mean, a similar hmm. thing happened, happened to me. Wow. <laughs> no, did, have we got that picture? I mean, I was tricked. Look. <laughs> You can imagine how I, I actually... Originally, I was just wearing a cowboy outfit. <laughs> Is it that one? No. No? I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, oh, I can see... Oh, yeah, no, that, they've taken advantage. You there. see? Yeah, that, that is... Oh. <laughs> Come on, put it back in the box. You know what? You don't want this to be shown, do you? Don't need to see it. No, I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. And the, the, did you see the one with the mixed doubles they did in uh, GQ magazine? That was. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at the airbrushing, mainly. <laughs> I do all my own. It's the safest way, Kylie. It's the Let, me only advise. Way. Let me advise you. Now, I've got a quote from you. This is a bit sad, I think. Oh. It says, this is in this year's Daily Mirror. At 32, I've come to realise I might never get married or have children. Oh, Kylie. <laughs> it doesn't upset well, me at all, it. it says. Well, it's just that people ask me about it all the time, and I used to... You know, I was just younger and, I, and more naive in, in lots of ways. And I would say, I don't know where I'll be in five or ten years. All I know is that I'll have a family one day. And then, you know, yeah, I'm 32 and I just... It's, it's, not, it's not a sad realisation, it's just a realisation. Yeah, but you've got ages yet to get married and have kids, haven't you? Yeah. Are you courting? Yeah. <laughs> so there, there is a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Who, who are you courting with? A guy called James. Yeah, we've got a picture. He looks uh, a bit like Brian Robson, actually, in a wig. Do you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know Brian Robson, the football manager? No. He looks but he's a good, he's a model, isn't he? He was, yeah. Oh, not anymore? No. You see, I think that's on, I think, really good-looking people, because you're a very good-looking person, I'm sure you've been told a million times. Uh, good-looking people, I think, should spread themselves about a bit. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's something not right about two really good-looking people being <laughs> together. You should be go with someone who's a bit of a. <laughs> I don't mean me. I mean someone who's you know. Well, rough. no, because you've got to spread the gene. I've got to spread the to... comedy gene. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. I have to go out with someone who's who's who just has no jokes at all. <laughs> Absolute bore. Yeah, and then we can we can do it that way. But um, I think you should go out with someone a bit rough. I have. You've been out with ugly people? I've been out with a bit of rough, yeah. Have you? <laughs> when was that? I bet that was ages ago. Wasn't it? <laughs> I can't say that. that no, I'm well, you don't have to that name about them. Someone. You don't have to name you know. them, obviously. But since you've been famous, you've done that. Yeah. Wow. Well, just for well, novelty. Well, actually, one of the, the great things, if, if we were to meet at a bar or, you know, I don't know, at an awards night or TV show, yeah. is, is the comedy gene. Do you think? You're onto something, yes. No, I don't believe that. It's true. Now, women always say that. It's really not true, Kyla. But it is true. They say, oh, have yes. Have a good laugh. He just laughed me into bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how do you do that? As long as they're not still laughing when you're in bed, then you've got a problem. No, because I find the chloroform stops that. <laughs> so, um, you did the Royal Variety performance. Mm. I watched it, it was great. Thank you. Did you have a... Did you, you got to meet the prince and all that? I did. Yeah. I got a picture of you meeting the prince. <laughs> what do you think of him? You, mean, you don't like the other woman, does he, at all? Look at that expression. 
That is the phone from a man who's thinking, is that a bloke? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he say? You didn't, you don't remember. Uh, well, he said that he lied to my coat and was I doing any more performances? And I said, yes, I'm going on tour and you must come. Do come. Yeah, he likes your coat. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, you meet Kylie Minogue and you say, oh, like your coat. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> well, Kylie, um, I'll, I'll definitely come and see you on tour. Looking forward oh, to that. Yes, you uh, must come. And uh, it's been great having you on, ladies and gentlemen. Kylie Minogue. Thank you.